and welcome to my video tutorials about programming in the C++ programming language. However, and for whatever reason you happen to find my videos, I surely hope that I can help you through everything and anything you'll need to know from A to Z about programming C++. So if you're already familiar with a little bit of C++ or if you're a noob that's just starting off, here's a place to start and hopefully the place to end. I hope to start off with learning about basic C++ concepts and then probably move on to more advanced stuff later on like maybe 3D graphics and stuff like that. If you're a newbie like I used to be and you're asking many questions on public forums and public chat rooms about C++ because C++ is a very complicated language um, you're probably you'll probably run into the RTFM answer which means read the bleeping manual which rings pretty true because it doesn't really make sense to try to understand much about C++ without reading at least one or two or three good books on C++. However, it is my intention to replace the need of reading books and instead just watch these videos and hopefully I'll be able to carry you through everything you'll need to know in C++. That's, um, as you noticed, uh, the title of these series is called The Spoon Feed because I try to spoon feed the whole thing to you and my nickname here on YouTube is anti-RTFM because I tend to uh, go against this RTFM attitude of just brushing off a newbie and telling him to go read the books I'll try to spoon feed everything to the viewer so let's get started what exactly is a program and what does programming mean so a program is pretty much a list of instructions for the computer to carry out. Like let's say imagine you're giving instructions to your cleaning lady to do, like you tell her to take out the garbage and then go buy some food in the store and then clean up the dining room. So the cleaning lady will now execute, she will now do all these instructions, probably in the same order in which she was given these instructions. So, she's first going to go to the store, and then she's going to clean up the dining room, and then she's going to, you know, whatever the instructions was. Same thing is how a computer does a program. A computer reads instructions off a file, whatever file it may be, and does those instructions one after the other. And that was that's what programming is. Programming is typing up these instructions for the computer to do. So you can think of it as like giving a command to the computer, yo computer, do blah blah blah. And now the computer will do blah blah blah. Then you tell him to boo, do something else, and I'll do something else. And if you give him a whole list of instructions to do, and then press enter, or you start the program, or whatever, the computer will start doing that. Everything and anything on a computer is a program. Right now I'm using a very big computer program called uh, Microsoft Windows and maybe you're also using Windows or maybe you're using Mac or any other big operating system that is also one big program of course computer game is a program and when I'm clicking on this folder over here and it's opening up and showing me inside that is a program so as you can imagine if you're a guy that knows how to type up these instructions and make the computer do some stuff you could get pretty powerful with that. Programming is very fun and especially very very powerful. You could create and make whatever you want. Anything. You can make your own like uh, like Microsoft Word word processing program. You can make a three-dimensional first-person shooter game. You can make uh, whatever you want. A calculator uh, in which the plus would subtract and the minus would add and 3 means 1 and 1 means 3. You can make whatever in the world you want. Uh, to go a little bit more under the hood, here is what a CPU, a central processing unit, or basically 
the mind of your computer looks like. This is what, uh, so to speak, reads the instructions that we type up and this is what executes it. This is what does it. This is like your cleaning lady that is doing the work. So this is what reads the instructions and carries them out. Now, um, the way which this uh, piece of machine actually reads instructions, it has its own special language, so to speak. Its language is known as binary. Binary looks something like this. You type in a whole bunch of ones and zeros, and then you pass it on to this piece of machine, and this machine will maybe do something interesting, like show a red dot on the screen, or who knows what. And in the olden days, this is how they used to type up programs. They used to type up a whole bunch of ones and zeros. As you can imagine, this is very complicated. So after a while, the programmers came up with a way to make things a little easier. So instead of typing up all of these ones and zeros, you can type up something like this. And that should take care of a whole bunch of ones and zeros. And you found a little shortcut like that. But even this is like pretty complicated and hard to understand. It'll be a while to figure out what exactly was going on over here. What are we trying to do? What does this piece of instruction mean? So after a while, things got a little more clear and a little more English. We have a language like assembly, which looks something like this. See, these are instructions to the computer, which are a little clearer and a middle, little more understandable. Like over here, MOV sounds like the en English word move. And this is exactly what this instruction means. It means to move this thing to there. And uh, this means jump, which means don't do this part of the program, jump to another part of the program. So this is a little more clearer. Now, a little later in the years came this programming language called C++. And that's a lot more easier and a lot more uh, English, so to speak. You have words like if, when, while, do, and stuff like that. And with this type of syntax, it's a lot more easier to understand what's going on. And if I open up these instruction files and I look what's going on over there, I could pretty much make out what's what's going on. What are we trying to do? So that's basically what the uh, uh, sequence of uh, programming languages were. And what happens is that we type up instructions in whatever programming language we want to type it up and it gets translated to the level below it. Like C++ is going to get translated into this type of stuff, and this type of stuff is going to get translated into this type of stuff, which the computer can now read and understand. We'll get back to all this interesting stuff in other videos.